Hi all, we're going to return back to that question of how the computer played a seemingly human move. And this was the final position where Kasparov resigned. And it seems, thanks for Knight Stell for reminding me, that there was this idea that Queen E3 drew. So let's have a look, Queen E3, so the idea is to sacrifice the bishop and now not to aim for a perpetual check immediately but actually to play the move rook e8 and for some time this was held up as a way of black drawing by a perpetual check however this video on YouTube will aim to explode that myth I believe it is a myth now that this position is a draw I had originally seen some evidence posted on ChessGamesCom where people were saying with engine analysis that a win had been found. And now I've inspected it for myself and I'll try and crystallize this win as simply as possible to you. Basically, the win in this position is white playing queen d7 check. There's all the difference in the world between the rook ending up on e8 and being on e7 as we'll see so rook e7 and now queen c6 with queen c6 we have latent possibilities of the queen coming back later to g2 once white sacrifices the bishop on e4 on the first rank and plays g3 queen g2 will be used to pigeonhole the king but Notes though, with d6 the rook on e7 will be attacked. This is the critical difference. So let's look for a perpetual check here now. So say there's two candidate, three candidate moves. Queen c1, and now this line would be um, a mate in 11. Black is getting mated here in 11 moves. So this is not a way for going for perpetual check. So basically, black has to take the bishop first. It's important to take the bishop. Now d6, and now let's look at the perpetual checks. Queen b1, queen c2 as the candidate move. And now we'll see what I was talking about earlier. So white has sacrificed that bishop on e4 in this variation. And after g3 can pigeonhole the king, can, can have this safe queen g2 move. And black in this position does not have queen d3, which black would have had if the rook was still on e8. That would have been drawing. But this position is actually losing for, for black because queen takes g2, king takes, and after king f3, it's a completely lost rook and pawn ending. Now let's go back a few moves here. If um, black hadn't taken the bishop, let's have a look at also queen f4. And now this is another critical and very interesting line, where instead of sacrificing the bishop on e4, the bishop gets sacrificed on d1. So bishop f3, check 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 king h1 and now comes the bishop sack bishop d1 so after queen takes king h2 now white plays after queen d2 white plays d6 So the bishop sacrifice had given white one extra move to reach this now winning position again. So after queen g2, it's now winning. So all the difference in the world was from the original check on d7. So this queen d7 check makes all the difference for the rook being on e8 instead of e7. Because if the immediate queen c6 here... Then queen takes e4, draw. Let's have a look. Check, check, and you know, say say d6. Now it's definitely perpetual check time. Say king f2, checks, 
There's no pigeonhole resource. Let's let's try and use the pigeonhole. So king h2, queen f4, g3. Here, just queen takes c3, for example. So that variation is no good. And if the black queen stayed, let's have a look again. If the black queen stayed on the dark squares, so also queen f4 check. So there's, there's a perpetual as well. So it's easy for black to, to, to use a perpetual check as a drawing method in this line. So queen b1, say king e2 as another alternative idea. Check, 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 check. And now g3, black is doing fine here, queen c1 check. So it makes all the difference in the world if we go back to the original position and after this very cunning rook e8 to actually play queen d7 check. There was the mistaken idea that h4 was somehow drawing but actually black has h5 and bishop f3 say black has the draw like this there's no escape from the checks if white tried to escape say king h3 it's still perpetual check so the only way for white to win in that final position if Kasparov had carried on with queen e3, white did have a win here with queen takes d6, it would seem. So the winning idea is queen d7. So um, here is the win. And the reason why this is so important to demonstrate is because there was an entire film about this position and a conspiracy theory that IBM had somehow you know, made a human move with bishop e4. But if the computer had seen this idea of queen d7 check, which, you know, might have been possible because it had pretty impressive hardware, then it was winning. This position is just winning. Please leave your comments on YouTube. Thanks very much.